Hey there guys, I'm back! Longer beard, slightly more white, a little bit uh, chubbier, but uh, Q-tips are just as delicious. Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar here, and today we're gonna be talking about the top drinks that you need to try here in Qatar. It's very popular in Qatar. Number one is Arabic coffee, or qahwa, or gahwa. That's how we say it, so say it the way we say it. Like, join, join our side of things, gahwa. So gahwa is a symbol of Qatari hospitality, and it will be served everywhere that you go. You go to someone's house, gahwa. You go to a meeting, gahwa. Walk down the street, gahwa. <laughs> you can just imagine just some random dude just walked up to you. Hey, you know what? Let's think about that for a second. Ingredients include, of course, coffee, cardamom, saffron, cloves, and of course, uh, shaba leaves. It's the blackstone flower. All right, so if you're gonna be serving or drinking, you're gonna need these two things. Yes, we've got the finjan, you might call it a cup, you might call this a coffee pot, but it's a della. It's a little mini della. Usually they're like huge, because you know, everybody got to drink the coffee. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and learn more about coffee and how to reject politely, then go ahead and check out our other video on uh, shaking the cup. Also, we made another video where we teach you how to make your own gehwa. So you can take a look at that. Wow, look at that. Number two is karak. Karak is the ultimate drink that you drink in a time of the day. I'm talking about black tea. I'm talking about milk, condensed milk as well. We're talking about cardamom, saffron, ginger. They're not all mixed together. You have different flavors of karak. And uh, karak is so good that people say that the people of Qatar are 90% karak. 10% blood. Maybe 9% blood. 1% water. <laughs> now, of course, karak is so delicious that you have to try it nice and fresh and hot. And uh, you should be able to get coffee as cheap as one real for a cup. So steal, get all the sugar you want. You can have like a sugar overload with your karak. Sugar? Number three is leban. This is a strained yogurt beverage. And uh, everybody drinks leban. You know that somebody's drank leban because he's got the leban mustache. Like everybody's walking around, you know, it's like white mustaches. Like we didn't just all grow old all of a sudden. Just had some leban. Of course, you can find leban all over the place, especially in supermarkets. But just make sure that when you drink it, you drink it nice and cold. Number four is lemon and nai, lemon and mint. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious, especially when it's hot outside. And plus, it's good for you. It's good for you, right? Of course. Lemon mint. But if you really want to enjoy a lemon mint, make sure you have crushed ice inside. I'm talking about that finely crushed ice. So it just tastes extra cold. Yeah, lemon and mint. Mm. Oh, and if you're on Qatar Airways, their lime and mint signature drink, you gotta try that too. Qatar Airways, going places together. Number five is saffron milk and ginger milk. Yes, we like it. And we specifically like it in the winter because it just makes you feel all nice and warm inside, you know? Just like, it's a comfort drink. You drink it, you feel good. You remember mama. Make sure you stay hydrated, drink your water. How many bottles, how many liters? You're supposed to drink two liters of, of water, I think. Fact check down below if I'm right or if I'm wrong, you'll see the right number. Here, quick, drink some water. All right, guys, so those were just some drinks that we drink here in Qatar that you have to try when you come and visit. If you've liked this episode, please don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to share. And you see that bell over there? Turn around, looks like a cup. Put a drink in it. Mas <laughs>